What you will see in this video today is all about China's unbelievable and cutting-edge space technologies. So with this being said, brace yourself to see the rise of China's space programs that are gaining momentum. Hi everyone, Richard Aguilar here again and I'm back with another awesome video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our great videos. So without further delay, here we go with the rise of China's space programs with amazing rockets and satellite technologies. Number one is the new high-resolution mapping satellite. Looks like China is not behind when it comes to space program. The country sent a new high-resolution mapping satellite into space from Taiwan Satellite Launch Center in the northern province of Shanxi. The Z-1303 satellite was launched by a Long March 4B rocket, according to the center. It was the 341st flight mission by the Long March rocket series. It will provide data for the country's land resource investigations, natural disaster prevention, agriculture development, water resource management, environmental surveying, and urban planning. Number 2 is the new commercial telecommunication satellite. China successfully sent a commercial telecommunication satellite known as AppStar 6D into a planned orbit from the southwestern Xichang Satellite Launch Center. The AppStar 6D telecommunication satellite was launched by a Long March 3B carrier rocket, according to the center. It is expected to provide high-quality broadband network and data communication services for users across the Asia-Pacific region according to the CAST. With a communication capacity of about 50 gigabytes per second and a single beam capacity of up to 1 gigabyte per second, AppStar 6D will serve its users with high-quality voice and data transmissions. Number 3 is China's successful launch of the first Mars mission. China successfully launched its first Mars mission as the Tianwen-1 Mars probe heads for the Red Planet. The mission known as Tianwen-1 will see a rover, lander, and orbiter launch aboard a Long March 5 rocket from the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center on Hainan Island. It is China's first solo mission to Mars. The state-owned China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation declared the launch a success and said the Tianwen-1 rover had been successfully transferred to the predetermined orbit according to an official post on social media.
China's Tianwen-1 will arrive at its destination seven months after launch. The orbiter will orbit Mars while the rover and lander will make a journey to the surface of the red planet. Research experts from the world's second-largest economy hope to map the geological structure of Mars, investigate the characteristics of its soil and water ice distribution, study the surface material composition and more broadly understand the environment on the planet according to the mission's chief scientist. Number 4 is the tracking of Tianwen-1 from Earth to Mars with advanced technologies. After a successful launch of the first mission to the Red Planet, China now is tracking its first Mars probe by using its cutting-edge technology. Chinese researchers use advanced very long baseline interferometry VLBI orbit determination system to precisely track its first Mars probe, Tianwen-1. Number 5 is, watch how China's lunar probe takes back moon samples. This is just a glimpse into China's readiness and capability to handle samples from the moon. China plans to send a Change E5 lunar probe to the moon to collect samples. The country reveals how their next moon mission will bring lunar samples home for the first time in decades. This animated video explains how it will take back samples to the Earth. Number 6 is the launch of the first submitter class satellite into space. China's first submitter high resolution optical transmission stereo mapping satellite, Gaofen 7, was successfully launched at the Taiwan Satellite Launch Center in the northern province of Shanxi. Galvin 7 can draw 3D images, meaning that all the buildings in the world will be a series of 3D models once it is put into use.
The successful launch means that the status quo of the high-resolution stereo remote sensing MH market relying heavily on foreign satellites will be broken, leading China into a new era of independent large-scale space mapping. That's all for now, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. So if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. And once again, this is Richard Aguilar, thanks for watching and see you on my next video.